before I begin, I just want to let everyone know that yes, I am rewatching Crash Landing on You. Mind your business. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal. If you're not new here, what's up bestie? How you been? I'm kind of upset at myself because I said I was going to upload at least one video a week but I did not upload last week and that is because I have no excuses. But here I am, I'm ready to start up again. Better one week than two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you know? So let's get back in the groove, Crystal. And it's freaking cold in my house right now because winter finally decided to come around into Southern California's life and now it's freaking cold. I hope January has been treating slash treated you guys well, whether you're watching this in January 2021 if I get this up on time. Or if you're watching it after, I just hope it treated you guys well. February is fast approaching. February is my birthday, birthday month. month. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, um, my birthday is February 7th, so that's really exciting. I'm definitely gonna vlog my birthday day because I have something fun in mind. And by fun, I mean fun for me, not for anyone else, but for me. Um, and then of course, the February vlog will go up at some point as well, like the January vlog did. Um, cooking with Crystal needs to have a comeback. I have not cooked anything new all year, so I need to do that. Again, if you guys have any cooking recommendations or anything, your girl just bought an air fryer. Leave it down below. I'm willing to try anything. It can literally be any kind of food as long as I can find the ingredients for it. But enough about random nonsense that I keep rambling about because as you guys know, I am a ramble queen. Let's get into today's video, which is going to be my bullet journal setup and bullet journal with me for February, which is gonna be chaotic because I don't really have a tripod or anything to set up my camera. So I don't know how I'm gonna film me bullet journaling, but I think I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But <laughs> I'm getting back into bullet journaling. I didn't bullet journal all year last year, but in 2019 I did and I think I have a video up for that on my channel. But 2021, I was determined to really get into my journaling zone. So let me just hop right in because I feel like this video is going to be kind of long. Meanwhile. Can you guys guess what song I was? Whoever gets what song that is in the comments. <laughs> it's a real one. This is my bullet journal for this year. It is sleek white. It is Super pretty. This is originally how the bullet journal came. It was just like plain white with this holographic like rainbow on it. And then I added these two stickers. Um, this is just the 2021 sticker. And then this is a Spotify scan sticker that if you scan it, it'll take you to. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. There I am in all my glory. And if I put my book up, I just put it. Did it go? No? Okay. Boom! Song of literally the century. And I love this bullet journal because the pages are like holographic rainbow on the side. This bullet journal is from Archer and Olive, I think the name is. I'll put a link to it down below and as well as like a picture right here or something. I think a very good investment because my last bullet journal that I did like my flip through and stuff, the yellow one, was super thin. So all of my markers always like bled through it, which I like hated. Disclaimer. I am a huge fan of Amanda H. Lee here on YouTube. She's the one that got me into bullet journaling because I saw her video and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to get into bullet journaling like in 2018 or so whenever I did it. And this year is no exception. I definitely went to Amanda H. Lee again to kind of just use her template for the setup because when it comes to the year setup at the beginning of a journal, I like completely always blank out and never know what to do. If you guys watch her too and you guys see this, you guys are going to be like, Crystal, that's very similar to hers. Yeah, she says in her videos too, oh, if you do her setup, send pictures, whatever, it's not like, I'm taking credit. I'm just letting you guys know right now. Without further ado now, let me get into the flip through of my journal so far, which is still incomplete, but we're gonna deal with it. <laughs> Before I open this, I just want you guys to peep the Crocs. If it's shaky also, it's because I am holding it with my hand because I don't have a tripod thing to hold it. So anyways, this is again my journal. Open her up 
So this is what the front looks like. I also love that the pages are very white if you look at them. And then you open and it says, <laughs> here you can see that the very first page when I was trying to do this, I completely messed up and I was so angry that I ripped it out and that's why it is very uneven and ugly right here. But this is my front page, it just says, Dear 2021, please be kind and then it says word of the year grow because that is what I want to do this year, I want to grow. That and then some little doodles and then you open it and here is my future log which was my favorite part of the setup that Amanda Rachel did. I loved how she cut this out. So you just kind of have the whole year planned out in like a small form. So you have the first four months, cut out the pages so that it can have kind of like a 3D effect, I think it's called, I don't know. I think it's so cool. You go May, June, July, then you go September, October, November, December. So that's the future log. Then you flip and next page I just have some goals. Um, I have work goals, personal goals, and manifest, which I don't know why I put manifest because I have my whole like own manifestation journal kind of thing going on. And then here I just have a quote that says, it's okay to make mistakes, to have bad sad days, to do what's best for you, to feel all your feelings, they are valid, they are valid, your feelings are all valid. To heal on a messy timeline and to be yourself, there's only one of you. Smiley face. And then here I have books I read in 2021. I want to read this year. I did not read anything last year and I really want to get into the habit of reading at least one book a month, which is what I have here. There are like three days left in January, so wish me luck. And then I just have some books that I'll write in the title of the names of the books that I finished. Um, and if I happen to read more, which I doubt, but hopefully I do. And then here I have series that I'm watching, the name and the rating. Right now I only wrote Bridgerton, which I just finished. And then New Girl, I just finished too. I loved New Girl, it was so funny. Turn the page, we have my YouTube tracker, which is where I'm just gonna write some stacks at the end of every month. And then I have a page for like video idea brain dump, where I can just write whatever comes to my mind. Here I have 2021 highlight which is where I'm gonna put a Polaroid picture of something in each month that just made me happy and I have the first six months here and then the next six months here so that's my 2021 setup and then it goes straight into January so January originally had the theme of like coffee shop coffee vibes but when we go through you'll see I didn't really follow that coffee because adulting is hard um, so accurate. And then here's my lopsided mug that I was very upset about, but I had to deal with it. And then January with a little sketch of a coffee shop flip. Here I just have my January kind of at a glance. You move here. We have January playlist, which I'm going to do. Where I'm just going to put maybe like six or seven or so um, songs or albums that I listen to a lot this month and then here I just have my mood tracker and the theme of coffee cups to try to bring in the theme again and then here's where my weekly spreads kind of start it says some of my current favorite Starbucks orders this is blank I still have to fill it out <laughs> and then you flip and this is my second week of January again not much going on I still have to go back and either doodle or fill in what I did on some days because I forgot and then here's the third week of January, same kind of deal. And then here I have some fun pages that I need to finish. Flip to another weekly spread that needs some doodles and some pictures. This is this week's current spread. And then last in January, I have some merch idea brain dumps or more like maybe little shop idea brain dumps. I'm really excited and I hope that I'm able to do that. And on the right we just have January self-care reflection because I'm trying to take myself out on a self-care date at least once a week. So I'm just going to do like a reflection, kind of pictures from my dates with myself and everything which I think will be very nice to look back on every month. And then this is where we are today. I'm going to start my February monthly thingamajigs. At least even the January isn't like finished and very incomplete, it's all laid out. So I just have to go back kind of and fill it in with fun stuff and little things and yada, yada, yada. So now we are going to get started on February. I think what I'm gonna do is just do the monthly cover page and kind of show you guys the theme I'm gonna go for this month and then lay out the monthly like thing. Yeah, maybe lay out the weekly spread that I'm gonna try out this month. Let me try to figure out how I'm gonna set you guys up so you guys can see what I'm what I'm working with. Hmm. 
I think this is as good as we're gonna get the setup. My head is right here next to the camera. So if my voice sounds really loud, that's why. So I'm gonna do February right here. And I bought these super cute flower stickers. <laughs> Bless me. So I'm gonna make February flower themed because I love flowers. I think flowers are very much my aesthetic. And since February is my birthday month, I wanted to make it very much me. What I do after I figure out kind of what theme I wanna do, I go on Pinterest. I usually just type in like bullet journal inspiration. But in this case, since I know what theme I wanna do, I'm gonna type in like bullet journal flower inspiration or something like that and then I kind of just go through and look for things that I really like and I'll just leave them open in tabs so now that I know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go for it I think the color schemes I'm gonna go for are still gonna be kind of pastel -y. so what I'm gonna use for the main big like month thing is this black Tombow 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 brush pen this one is just the black one so, so I'm just gonna go in with the brush pen side and I'm just gonna Sometimes I like to use pencil. Actually, I should use pencil. February. Let's get to doodling. You can fast forward this crystal. it all in boom chicka bow wow I'm just gonna outline with this Muji pen which is a 0.5 you definitely can't see but it's a 0.5 and then I kind of wrote out what I'm gonna do for like the quote side I have a picture here from Pinterest this is the brush pen I use when I don't want the like calligraphy to be too thick and yes it got yellowish because I turned the light on so that you guys can still see. Oh my god, the shadow. And this is totally what I mean by journaling takes a long time because it's already, you can't see, but it's already five o'clock. Okay, so I finished the monthly, like, month thing. I'm gonna end it there, so I literally only did this <laughs> today. And then I will do the rest tomorrow morning. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I will finish this February setup. Period. <laughs> OMG, hey besties. Um. I'm afraid to tell you guys this. I'm afraid to tell you guys this. I'm afraid to tell you guys this. Um, it's already like 2 or 3 p.m. the next day. I was supposed to start earlier so that I could get natural light, but I boofed myself because it's rainy today, so there's absolutely no natural light. And the angle is bad as always and everything, but just deal with it. Let's continue. So I did the cover page. I did 
the monthly spread out page and then next I'm gonna do a mood tracker on this side let's do that first again I apologize for the shadow that's just gonna like be over this entire thing Also, this is a little heater I have so my hands don't get cold. Yay! I can't really show it well, but now we can move on to the weekly spread because I have month, I have mood and playlist, and then I have my weekly spread start. So I'm going to do something different for February. It is once again yellow lighting because it's freaking 542 featuring Tae June. Oh my god. When these pictures drop for the winter package, I Oh my gosh. It got late again, so yellow light is on and all, but I was like, I'm gonna finish today. But let me show you guys my February setup. Let me So this is what I got going on for February. My table is a hot mess right now went with the flower theme like i told you guys oh my gosh someone's calling me hold on okay we're back after i was so rudely interrupted by my brother's phone call just have february written in some calligraphy that is kind of crooked because i got to the end kind of fast um you can see the f is so big and the y is so like condensed so here it just says happiness blooms from within um something that i'm reminding myself every day turn to the like layout here you will see I put my birthday on the wrong freaking day because my nine looks like a seven. <laughs> Crystal. I have to go by whiteout and move my birthday to the seventh, um, which is a Sunday. I don't know why I wrote it on a Tuesday. Oh my God, why is everyone calling me? Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Um, Where was I? Oh, I forgot to stickerify it. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, we're back. Stickerified it with some stickers that I showed you guys earlier. I have to write, of course, my focuses and priority tasks, but February starts on Monday, which is in like two, three days. So I'll do that when February starts. 
And then you go to this page, which is my mood tracker, um, featuring my very beat up scissors. <laughs> Labeled each day up to 28 right here. And then I'm just gonna color it in. Happy, good, okay, sad, and bad. And then I have my February playlist, which I will fill out throughout the month whenever I find songs that I have on repeat. And then this is what my weekly spreads are gonna look like. Um, I only did one week because I did not want to spend the time to do every week right now. This is just the first week of February, so February 1st to the 6th. Here I just wrote a quote that just, not even a quote, it's a word. And it just says like blossom with some cute flowers around it. And then uh, this is my weekly spread. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it just flips like that. And I put the same kind of like floral pattern on the edge of it all. That took a long time. Hence, I did not film me doing all three of them. Because it took freaking long. But I love how it looks. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm probably going to do like the same kind of spread all throughout February. Just maybe different color flowers. And then the last thing I did on February is just a tell me more about Crystal's personality, which you can see is sideways. And then I have these Tata and Koya like puff stickers that my sister got me for Christmas. And here I'm probably just going to do a page where I write kind of about the personality results that I got from tests like the Myers-Briggs test and um, all the other tests. That is all I laid out for now. Um, you guys will see the finished February product maybe when I do my flip through halfway through the year or at the end of the year whenever I end up doing my flip through. But yeah, so, woo! Also, did you guys see my sweater? <laughs> That is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. A couple of you have said that you like seeing me bullet journal or seeing my process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a lot of me not talking since I'm assuming I'm just going to speed up the footage. But maybe that's what you guys like because I kind of ramble a lot and can be annoying. But you're welcome, I guess. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that jazz since I am inconsistent. Post notifications are really cool because you'll know when I upload randomly here. I will talk to you guys in the next video whenever that may be. It'll probably be either like my birthday vlog or my February vlog or any video that comes to my mind that I might do. Again, I'm unpredictable. I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> stay cool, stay fresh, stay loving yourself, and stay speaking yourself. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ta-ta!